Hello, and welcome to the premiere edition of Canon's Full Contact. I'm your host, Jack Reed, and together with my co-host, Sarah Barry, we'll be bringing you everything lacrosse in New England and beyond as we take a look at the upcoming Boston Cannons season. The Cannons are back at Harvard Stadium this year with a core group of returning players, some fresh faces, and a new head coach in Sean Quirk. This looks to be an exciting year for the Cannons, and hopefully they can build on their tremendous 2015 season. Last year, the Cannons exceeded all expectations, but that doesn't mean anything less than a championship would be acceptable. Not in the city of champions, sir. Absolutely not. Busy, bustling, exciting. Manhattan is not far from Hempstead, Long Island, where tonight Major League Lacrosse takes center stage. It's the second MLL semifinal. What a matchup we've got. Boston takes on New York. The year ended in double overtime in the MLL semifinals to the eventual champions, the New York Lizards. And that has left this group in the hunt for nothing less than the Steinfeld Cup. Looking back on that season, um, you know, we didn't, we didn't get to where we wanted to be. Um, so that's obviously what we're looking at now and, and moving forward. We want to make sure that we're, we have our eyes on winning that championship. He gets inside and he scores! Max Siebel with the game winner. Boston wins and they're headed to the postseason. It's been a long time coming. Uh, you know, last season for me was my first with the Cannons, and it was an awesome experience. Great group of guys, and an unfortunate ending in overtime in, in the playoffs. So, uh, you know, it's been I guess eight months now, and, and the the group, the core group that's still with us, uh, has been chirping at each other, getting ready for training camp, and it's great to be back. And uh, I think we've all really looking forward to this season uh, just to get going. It's been a while, and. and uh, you know, we have high aspirations with, with the new coach, with some new additions, some departures, um, and, and the, uh, the core group remaining. Uh, we're excited about what we can do. You know, you're always planning. Certainly, uh, this first training camp is what we're leaning on first, really building this team and evaluating all the players and seeing how we're going to be successful. I thought it was really important to touch base before we head out for practice number one. And I'm a, certainly a, a very competitive person. I'm a passionate person about the game of lacrosse. I, I believe that any team, the, the success comes from relationships and building a really strong culture. And, and that's something that we're going to really try to hone in on this training camp and certainly our next training camp in a couple weeks. Um, we have a, a ton of talent all over the field with guys that are returning from last year's team that was really successful. Uh, with the addition of some trades and the supplemental and the collegiate draft, which those guys will, will join us once their college seasons are over. We have a, a great group. Um, I think we have a, a passionate group, a, a competitive group, as I said, uh, a very close-knit team uh, of guys that are returning from last year. But for myself, you know, with that being said, with having a lot of talent, it, it's, it's coming down to a few things of building that culture, and that's something that we're really going to hone in on. Muda training camp was absolutely tremendous. The players were super excited to get started. They worked hard in the tryouts and practices, but what really struck me was the instant camaraderie among the players and what seemed like their sincere commitment to the new program set out by head coach Sean Quirk and his staff. Any team can say they want to win a championship and with our team this season with the Cannons, that's a very realistic expectation. It's one that our guys have the mindset of doing. That's the ultimate goal. But our first goal today at training camp is to get better each day, start to build that culture uh, to lead up to that championship. And I really believe that if we do all the little things in practice, out of practice, guys working out on their own throughout the season, um, that we'll have that success come the end of the season in August. Sean comes to the Cannons as their sixth head coach in team history and after a very successful 18-year run with Endicott College. Coach Quirk brings his special brand of coaching and a team community to the Cannons. I know the mentality of these players. They just have such a fire in their belly to get back on the field starting this weekend at, at training camp. And they're, uh, I think they're probably more motivated than ever now because they are so close and they can taste winning that championship. When we come back, we'll be looking around New England at some of the great high school and college lacrosse programs and a look at what's ahead for the Boston Cannons. You're watching Cannons Full Content.